going on guys this is going to be your basically your day before the game mental preparedness video hopefully that there are at least some of you that are getting some good out of this this is something that you know is just as new to me as far as teaching as it is to you hearing it and so just trying to figure out some ways to use what i know to help you in the best way. So hopefully you're getting something out of this. So a little bit different today, we're going to, we're going to do a different breathing technique to start. And then I'm going to approach the mindfulness part of this a little differently as well. It'll be more of a, just a personal check-in with your body and, and kind of working some stress out. And then we'll get into some some team discussion and, and inspiration and things like that tomorrow. So before we start, we're going to do more of a triangle breathing this time. The triangle breathing is going to be three in, hold it for two, and then out for five. And so we're going to do that for several times. And then once we're done, as always, just get back into a normal pattern just focus on getting some good breaths and focus on what's being said. So just like always, get yourself comfortable, get in a place to where you're not going to be concerned with anything except for what I just told you. So go ahead and work on that right now. And as you're getting comfortable, we'll go ahead and start with the breathing. So I will count since this is something new. So breathe out and inhale two, three, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, hold, two, exhale, two, three, four, five. So just get back into a normal pattern. You don't have to continue with the triangle breathing. If you would like, you can just find a comfortable rhythm of breathing and get to where you are relaxed and not laying down and going to sleep, but relaxed and able to focus on working some of the stress and some of the bad mojo lack of better terms, out of your system. So as we do this, we'll start at the top of the head and we'll just kind of talk our way down. And as I mentioned a body part, we're going to focus on that body part and focus on, first of all, relaxing it. Second of all, releasing any tension or stress that is there. So working from the top of our heads at this point, Focus on the very top of your head, working down, feeling your ears, feeling your eyes, releasing any stress or tension that are on your eyes, thinking even as far as relaxing the muscles behind the eyes. Just let them rest. Let them relax. Working down to your cheeks, release your cheeks, let them be loose. Working down into your jaw, let the tension out of your jaw. Working down into your neck, release any tension, release any stress that's in your neck. Focusing now on our shoulders hold a lot of stress, a lot of tension in our shoulders, in our traps. Work on letting them soften down, loosening out, releasing any tension and stress that are on 
our traps, and now down into our shoulders, both our left and our right, working on softening them, loosening them up, down to our biceps and our elbows. Feeling your elbows, just concentrating on what it is like to push the stress right out of our fingertips from our shoulders down through our elbows and out of our fingertips. Now we're in our forearms, pushing it out, working on our hands now, releasing the stress that are in our hands, focusing on our thumbs and our first finger, our middle finger, our ring finger, and our pinky. Let all the stress release out through them. And back to our chest. Take a second and just focus on what it feels like to breathe. Feel the air coming in. Feel the air going out. Remember what it's like to get a good breath in to where you're breathing out through your stomach. And then it goes up and, and spreads your ribs out. And then finally spreading out your chest, getting as much air in and as much air out as we can each time. Letting a little bit of stress go with every breath, working down into our stomachs, releasing any st stress or tension that are on our stomachs. Down to our hips. Hips are another area that people hold a lot of their tension and a lot of their stress. Let it go. Focus on what you're feeling in your hips right now. Are they tight? Are they sore? Relax them just like we did in our arms, let any stress from this point be worked out from your hips all the way down to your knees and out through your toes. Just feel the stress be pushed out. Moving down to our, our quads and our hamstrings, another tight place that athletes have a lot of trouble with. Relax them. Let them Release everything that they're holding inside down to our knees. Focus on our knees. What are they feeling like right now? Are they, are they sore? Are they hurt? Are they ready to go? Work it out down to our calves. Pushing out that stress, continually pushing out that stress continue to soften these muscles as we go and we think about what we're doing and, and how we're focusing on each part down to our ankles. Concentrating on our ankles and releasing that stress out of them into our arches and down to the balls of our feet and out of each individual toe, our big toe, our second toe third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. I continue to sit there and just focus on releasing that stress. Focus on letting your muscles relax and soften down into wherever they fall. This is what we need to do to truly let ourselves rest and let ourselves become resilient for the times that we need them to fight. We need those muscles to be ready to go. But in order for them to be ready to go, they need rest. They need periods to rebuild and relax. They need that stress released off of them. So... If you're listening to this at, at night on Thursday before the day of the game, that's great. Work on 
calming yourself down, work on becoming relaxed, get some good sleep, and be ready to go in the morning for the game. We're still breathing. We're still focusing on the present. Just like always, if we have intrusive thoughts, we, we acknowledge them and then we release them and get back to focusing on our bodies, in our mind, in ourselves. These are the times that we need to really take advantage of that mental capacity that a lot of people waste. We take it for granted. We don't use it like we should. We don't practice and train it like any other muscle or piece of our body that is necessary to excel in this sport. We have to continually work it. We have to get control of it so that we can use it in the ways that we want to use it. So as we get to the end of this, you start wiggling your fingers, start shaking, wiggling your toes, moving your body parts around. If, if this is something that you're going to be getting up, if this is something that you're going to be just going to bed, then just let it go. Push stop and, and let some sleep become part of what you're doing right now. If not, lay there and, and get a little bit more peaceful focus. Take whatever you need, whatever you have. But these are some critical things that you need to do to get us to where you need to be so that you're prepared for you, what we will be facing. So that's all I have today. I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of a different style of preparation. The, the other things that, that I've done have been more of a self-talk, positivity, affirmation type preparation. But just as much as that positive self-talk and, and that positive image that we have for ourselves is important. This type of preparation is so very important as well. Don't forget about your mental rehearsals that we talked about last week. If you have some time, do this type of thing, but just add in the visualization of running some plays. Make these times even better. Make them work even harder for you. Thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and talking with you tomorrow and hopefully even coming to the game. So stay at it. Keep pushing. Keep working. Stay in the fight. And like Coach says, keep hammering. Go Golden Eagles.